Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Tech Excellence 360. I hope you all are enjoying and learning through my videos. In my last video, I have shared the overview of topic plant stimulation. In today's video, I am going to give you practical exposure of plant stimulation. If you have not seen my previous video, pause this video here and go back and check the plant stimulation video first. Now let's move to our today's topic. Today we will learn how to create a production line in plant stimulation. Today I am using technometric software to create a production line in plant stimulation. Start plant stimulation and click create new model. A dialog box will open. Here you can choose you want the model to appear in 2D or 3D. Here I am selecting 3D. This is how the interface looks like. Now click view on the menu bar and then go to planning view. We get a top view of the frame. This makes easy to place the object in the correct position. Now maximize the window and move the modeling area so that the event controller is located in the upper left corner. Now we need to insert some objects. We mainly need a source, two stations and a drain. To do so, drag and drop the source from the toolbox to the desired location in the frame. Now drag the station single prox from the toolbox and place it in the frame. And press Ctrl key to preserve the selection of the station in the toolbox. Finally, select the drain in the toolbox and place it in the frame. Next, we connect the object so that parts can move from station to station through the plant. Select the connector from the toolbox, pull down the control key and connect all the objects through connector. Once you are done with that, switch off the planning view mode by clicking on planning view button. Now we are ready to run the simulation. To do so, click reset and start from the home button from the menu bar. You can see that the model we have created is working. <coughs> After few seconds, click start stop button again from the home button to stop the simulation and check the result. Double click the drain to open its dialog box. Click the tab type statistics to see the most relevant statistic data of the product's part. On this tab, we see the average lifespan of the product. The total throughout and throughput per hour and also other important values. Definitely, you also want to see statistics of the station. For this, double click the station and change the tab status statistic. Change to tab statistics. You can also show the result in the stimulation graphically with the help of a chart. Select the chart in the toolbox and drag it to the location where you want to place it and click the left mouse button, drag the marker key over the material flow object whose data you want to show. Drag the selection over the icon of the chart and drop it there. As you want to show resource statistic of the object, you click OK on the dialog statistic type. The chart shows that the station were working all the time. But in real plant, machine tends to fail. To get more realistic situation, we will use the availability to 90%. 
for all the stations. Double click the station in the toolbox and click the tab Failure. Click New to define new failure. Plan simulation has default values for availability and mean time to repair or MTTR. Here enter 90 for availability of the station. When you click apply, plan simulation automatically enters the corresponding intervals and durations. Click OK. Now open dialog box of station you will see they have taken the setting of their class. Finally, reset the simulation and run it again. Now when you check the statistics of the station, they now also failed, were blocked and we are waiting. In the resource statistic chart, we also see the blocking portion and waiting portion of the station. Now, when you check the type statistics of the drain, here we also see the throughput per hour decreases from 60 part per hour to about 45 parts per hour. This is how we create a simple simulation model. I hope this video was useful for you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button.